Scorpios, namaste. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your reading. This is for the month of July 2023. How are you doing, my darlings? Now, Scorpios, these are general messages. Everything won't resonate with you. It's not possible. But hey, if it does, I want you to claim it 100%. No questions, no doubts in your mind at all. Okay? Now, is this your sun sign? I'm going to put links to two websites I trust. Find out where your ascendant, your rising, that is, moon, as well as where your Venus and your north and south node placements are. For example, you may not be in your sun sign element or energy throughout the whole month or for the next two, three weeks. That's how this, this how long this reading will play out. You may be in your moon from time to time. Or in your Venus, it's about love and money. When I struggle with anything in my emotional life, I always read, watch my Capricorn readings because that's my moon. So you do the same. Go to my channel, watch those sign readings, and I assure you, you will receive all the answers. So I'm going to give you multiple messages. Let's get into it. I'm going to clarify the cards when I need to. You can apply this to you or to the person or the situation you're thinking about when you come across this reading. First deck I'm using is my monology deck. And these are your first cards, which is conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. I love this. Something that you've been struggling with, Scorpio. And, you know, it's almost like a blood red moon. You know, it's like that very Martian and you've been very passionate about this thing. Now, with this word conclusions, it is very much your energy, Scorpio. You are about an ending, but a rebirth, a death and a rebirth. You know, I think somebody has been walking alone. It's almost like you've been walking the dark night of the soul all alone and fighting a situation, perhaps even fighting your own mind and your own fears. Some kind of a resolution is coming your way. I also feel somebody here will get a chance to resolve something with someone. But I think they don't want to. You may think that how do I put it? Wait, let me just organize my thoughts. Someone here will get a chance to resolve a situation because conclusions are within reach, but I think the other person may want to end it. That's what I wanted to say. Your commitment is being tested. This is definitely a love relation. Definitely. I'm, I know I'm talking to somebody who is in a partnership which is being tested and you have walked alone. This is what I'm sensing. And I think you've reached a point where Somebody wants a restart and somebody wants to end. I don't know which one you are. This is what I'm thinking. There's like a battle. But it's an ending. So if you may not want to restart it, but somebody here wants it. My God, I, I don't know if you, have, you can find that golden center. Now, oh, by the way, Scorpio, before I forget, I upload readings for career as well as love separately every single day. Every single day there is a reading from me on my channel. I also post three card readings. So just go watch them. See the title, whatever appeals to you. Something will be there for you. This I promise you. The energy is gaining momentum. See, I want you to know with both these colors here. It's the crown, it's the Shasara. It's very mental energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Something is going on behind the scenes. I don't know if there's a battle of the minds going on, you know, where somebody is so egotistical. That's a lower vibration of your sure, Sarah. That they say, you know, I'm going to pretend like I want to resolve something and then I'm going to say goodbye. I'm sensing this for you. And with the energy gaining momentum and the moon energy is very receptive, recessive. It's also hidden. Somebody is planning and you don't know this. I don't know why I feel this. I don't know why I feel this. I also wonder if somebody is trying to tell you that let's try to resolve something, but their goal is to end it. Do you know that? There's definitely that energy here. It's also one upmanship here. I want to put this out to you, Scorpios. Now, I'm going to just take some major arcana cards from my good tarot deck to see which zodiac signs are coming towards you right now. Okay? Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. North node and south node as well. The Rahu and Ketu. These are your destiny points, my friends. The most karmic points in your chart. Why have you come? I mean, your body's mission is to eat, sleep, have sex and make merry. What about your soul? Why has your soul arrived here? 
that's what it tells you. Temptation, Capricorn. You could have a Capricorn coming towards you. Some of you could be dealing with one right now. Hierophant, Taurus. It's a committed partnership that somebody could be in. Or somebody who is in a committed partnership could be leaving something and coming towards you. Or there's somebody coming towards you who's very traditional. You've shown up in your reading tower. I can have a fellow Scorpio coming towards you. It's a tower card. Now let's clarify each of these cards. Try to give you information about these individuals, okay? So I'm going to use my right away tarot deck. Let's start with the devil energy. This is Capricorn. This could be somebody who's a bit older to you because, you know, it's ruled by Saturn and Saturn is a sign of the elder, the older. Uh, somebody could be in a karmic partnership. Perhaps they're leaving it. Somebody who's very, very tempting to you. This is kind of temptation, you know, and there's money here. And somebody is taking a bite of that apple. I don't know if somebody's trying to tempt you. And with what? With money? With sex? It's like, you know, Eve. I'm sorry, in the Garden of Eden when she was tempted by the snake. Okay, now. There's somebody who is either in a karmic partnership that is ending because I have the six of pentacles. This is my divorce card or an equal give and take. And look, Scorpio, your energy is the eighth house. It is about other people's money, big money. It is about purging. It is about the occult. It is about equal distribution of assets as well. You know, loans, inheritances, and somebody is going through that. Somebody could be, this, this Capricorn could be ending some kind of a karmic cycle and there's a payout and then they're coming towards you. Are they tempting you that once they get their payout, they'll do everything? And they have probably told you that there's a lot of money that they're going to receive. I don't know why I sense that. What else about this Capricorn spirit is coming towards my Scorpio? Or they could be dealing with them right now. My God, I have the Hierophant again. This person is in a marriage. This is Taurus. Now, this is the second house in astrology. Aries, Taurus, ruled by Venus where she's exalted. Second house is about your self-worth. It is about things of value. Stored wealth in, you know, property, money. It's a natural house of money. This person is enticing you with some kind of a money thing that if you wait for them, they'll give it to you or share the spoils. Some energy going on here, but this person is in a marriage. You know, this Capricorn individual, I think is struggling to get out of a marriage, but they, I just want you to know that. And they could be dealing with somebody who is in a higher position. There's something like that going on here as well. Somebody who's got some kind of a pull or help from the government or the church or very traditional. My God, five of wands. There's competition here. Listen, this person is in a committed partnership. They are waiting for a payout and there is a lot of fighting going on. This is fire energy. Five is a number of imbalance. This person is not giving you the whole story. I just wanted to, I just giving you a heads up. Now, you know, the tarot, astrology, these beautiful arts, these occult sciences are not to put the fear of God in you. Or to scare the you know the living daylights out of you. They are here to help you. My tarot readings are tarot formations. I affirm, reaffirm, and amplify all the positive cards. I flip the negative cards and they will come out. It's life. There's going to be a high and a low. And I flip the energy, send it back to you as positive fuel to manifest your desires. And more importantly, Scorpio, remember my words, astrology and tarot are to give you a heads up. How? Once you know what could happen or what the energy is available around you, you have two choices. One, not to engage with it when it shows up or two, to avoid it completely. So in both these ways, you minimize the damages that might have otherwise happened if you didn't have that information. Okay? So I need you to know that if this person starts to come towards you, or you may know this person already, they're tempting you with something. Either they're tempting you with, you know, once I get my payout, I'll give you a portion. It's something like that. But you still have competition. They are still married. 
are they cooking up a plan in the air when i in the future tense what are in the present i think you have competition in the present they are still married and i want to give you this heads up now let's talk about this taurus that you could be dealing with or who's coming towards you spirit what can i tell them about this taurus Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person is single. Single, ready to mingle. Now, this is somebody, I mean, look at the energy. This is totally Venusian, you know. The Nine of Pentacles for me is Earth energy, of course. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone who's got wealth, beauty, style, grace, and they're standing alone. Very confident individual. Man or woman, don't go about the sex of the cats, Okay. Super confident. They have created such wealth and stability that they have believed that they have never needed anybody. I'm giving you this guarantee. This person who's coming towards you has probably never, or maybe they've been alone for a long time. So you may have to make some adjustments because they have lived alone, if you know what I mean. You know, there are some people, once you are not in a relationship for a long time, it's very difficult for you to adjust. I'm sensing that energy with this person. But they've been alone for a long time, but they're coming towards you. Now, they could be very traditional, um, very wealthy. Look, whoever is coming towards you, Scorpio, or you're dealing with them, money is not the issue here. It's not. It's not. And I like that for you. If that's what you want to manifest, you are on your on the path to manifest somebody who's got a lot of wealth. Oh my God, page of wands. You know, this individual is somebody who has been alone for a long time. I don't know if they've had some kind of a divorce before, but they've chosen to be single or they have vowed that they will never marry. I feel this. And they're very traditional actually in their heart. Or maybe they've spent a lot of time creating wealth, business, money, property, superb. They can, they're going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're going to come towards you as a page. I don't know if they have a child. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is a trigger card for me. This is a minor arcana of the fool. They're going to muster up this courage to come towards you with a small offer of passion. And I'm telling you, for this individual, it's very difficult because they have, they have not been with anybody for a long time. They've been alone. <clears throat> I don't know what you've done to them, but they want to come towards you and they could come as a page, but it's a very sweet energy. I want to tell you that because they're a little scared, but they're taking a risk and they want to come to you and kind of, you know, come with a small offer. But they, I'm, I feel that they there is love, there is passion there. Now, there's also about divine timing, gossip as well. You may have heard a lot of gossip about this person as to why they're single, you know, why they never married again. Don't listen to them. You ask them and you have your own tete-a-tete -tete and your own, you know, interview with them when they come towards you. I'll give you one more card. My God, the lovers. You're making a head over heart decision and coming towards you. And this person, I I'm sensing a very sweet energy. This is a Gemini. Not communication. It's third house. Um, they could be traveling towards you as well. It's quite short distance travel. It's about making a choice, a head over heart decision. And you know, this, this, this love is divinely ordained. I mean, it's blessed by the angels. This person, I don't know why. If you wondered where they were for so many years, if they've gone single, there was gossip about their relationship in the, in the grapevine. I almost said in the media. Don't listen to the gossip. You talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. They are literally mustering up the courage to come towards you with this offer. But it has the potential. I'm not sensing anything negative. In fact, they're overcoming a lot of their fears and shortcomings to come towards you, Scorpio, and it's sweet energy. They believe that they, they, they believe that you are the one. And I feel this is a head-over-heart decision for them. It's taken them a long time, but they're doing it. Now let's talk about the Scorpio who's coming towards you with a tower card. Give you some information about them. Wow. Money. This Scorpio is coming towards you with this huge pentacle. They're coming towards you with stability. They want to build a home. They want to build a family. They want to merge their businesses. Beautiful energy. But tower energy being here. There's definitely been an uncomfortable shift in their life. Or they've got one little from the universe 
they may have some baggage which is the, which may have been very uncomfortable for them to go through because you know the tower comes in and shifts or breaks down something something is broken in their life from those ashes they're going to pick it up like the phoenix rises from the ashes and they're going to come towards you i like this energy i mean uh, this individual has gone through some kind of a break or a disintegration of a structure in their life whatever it may be for them but they still are willing to invest in you it's good energy hello scorpio like you a water sign that means there's a lot of passion a lot of emotions love them and listen Ace of Cups. Anna, we don't want to take another card. This person, <clears throat> I don't know what the universe has done to them. It has given them such an electric shock that they have just taken whatever they have. And these are the two main things. They've taken their money, their resources and their heart and they're coming towards you. I love this. I don't know what the universe is giving them. It's put the fear of losing you. I don't know why I feel this is from your past. I feel this. I, I'm scared to take one more card to jinx this, but I'll take one more. I don't know why I feel this is somebody from your past. And you know, the universe has given them the biggest shock, I'm telling you. It's like now they're coming with everything. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Look, they're coming as a page, but they have already offered you this because that's the pentacle he holds. They may have had a child who has been, you know, some kind of a block. Children are never blocks. But if somebody is stuck in a karmic situation, a children are the first, you know, what can I say? You can't just bounce, right? You have to take care of your children. You have to first see that they are well provided. But somebody is coming towards you as a page, but they've already offered you that pentacle. I have a feeling this is somebody who has offered you a lot of things in the past. A lot. Perhaps, I know this is somebody from your past and they have left you. They had already offered you their heart and they've already offered you everything that they had in terms of their money and their wealth, whatever it is that is precious to them, even their time. They had pledged it to you. The universe has given them a shock which has made them come running back to you. Okay? They're coming towards you. And they're coming as a page. But then, you know, they've already offered all this to you in the past. They're just coming back to, you know, it's like you come back to claim someone. They're coming back to claim you, Scorpio. I feel this. It's a beautiful energy. They are coming back to say, you're mine. You know, I had put this, you know, when you have classes, like I remember to go for my Zumba class. And it used to be really big. And I used to always keep my bottle on my place and go, you know. And I used to come back and say, hey, you know, that's my... If somebody's coming to redeem you or claim you. And they have offered you the world in the past. I don't know why they went back to a situation, but the tower has fallen in that situation and it's no longer there. And they're coming back to you in this energy of your mind. I don't know who this is for. Listen, Scorpio, you have free will. You have to take nobody back. You choose what you want to do because like I always tell you, the power is with you. Now, let's take some cards, okay? From my Gilded Reverie. It's a very beautiful energy though. It's like saying that that's mine. I want it back. I want him. I want her. They're mine. And I claim them for a long time. And you know, I don't know if they waited for the tower to come down because they were expecting it or they were waiting for something to finish. Okay, Let's see what this oh. So divine masculine that has fallen. Okay, now the divine masculine has fallen. Okay, there are two divine masculines in this, in this deck. The first, okay, let me just go get it. Hold on. Oh God, sorry for all the, sounds so when i move the table okay here we go now there are two divine masculines in this deck one is like this hot sexy passionate this for me is a fire sign they have the glyph of mars on their chest um aries leo sag very sexy somebody goes to the gym loves to work out party animal very sexually you know driven look at them now 
there's a definitely a change in the compass, in the direction of their life. I don't know if their morals are going through a change. If there was somebody who was a player, who, who was a you know heartbreaker. Now, it's a man here, so I'm saying a man. It could be a woman who's doing this. But they're having some change in their either in their moral thinking that they don't want to be a player anymore or their life is undergoing some kind of a huge shift. And there's a sun in the center. This is definitely a fire sign. Kara Capricorn again. And it's again like the tower, but this is not the tower in this deck. You have somebody who's either on the cusp of Scorpio and Sag. You're dealing with them. You could have that in your chart. Go find out. Watch the Sag reading. Watch the Capricorn reading. There's a lot of that here, even Taurus. Now, look at this. This is a card of somebody who's a bit snobbish, somebody who's a, who prefers to be a bit alone, a bit aloof. It's also big government organizations, things which are way bigger than you. Somebody dealing with that, red tape, blue tape, restrictions, constrictions, not allowed to move. This is stuck energy and it's Capricorn. It, I mean, Saturn tests you, yeah. Makes you go around that mountain for a million times, checks to see if you've passed that test, and then you can move forward. But in that, you realize that something was a lesson or a blessing, and you cut your losses and you leave. That's the usual energy. Again, Sag, Jupiter and Sag. Small window of opportunity. You know, there's somebody here who has been battling something bigger than them. And they've been doing it for, I don't know, 7 years, 14 years, 28 years. I don't know, 14 years. It's it's a cycle. And they're tired of it. They wanted an out. And there's suddenly going to be a shift. A sudden shift, like a tower only. It's a small window of opportunity coming for someone. A very small window. You have to grab it because then that portal shuts. Or somebody else claims it. Money, Pisces energy. You know, there is a lot of things of governments and money and it could be alimony, child support. I don't know. This is number 34. Now, when this, when you see the fish, it is about money. It is the Pisces energy, right? In this deck, it's Venus and Taurus. It's about wealth, business, money, finances. Now, are you dealing with somebody who's obsessed with money? Is how much goes in that bank? What is a person's status? What is a value? That could be the case. But when I say the fish, I think of Pisces. And the high vibration of Pisces is divine love. Um, I mean, surrender, sacrifice. The lower vibration is ruled by Neptune. It's illusion, delusions, hidden, secretive, hidden enemies. It is also about sudden shifts because the fishes suddenly change direction. I, I've always, I always associate that with this card as well. Clarify some of these cards for you. I want to clarify the tower card in this deck, which is a card of Capricorn, King of Wands. It's this energy, fire, passion, heat, desire, that wand that they hold. It's about sex and passion. Now, this individual is definitely going through a karmic situation. This could be a Sag. This could be an Aries. Leo. I don't know why I feel they have a lot of Sagittarius in their chart. Perhaps a lot of Leo too. They're very arrogant. They're also somebody who's very sexually, I mean, for them, their sex life, that, that side of their life is very important. They're also the go-to person. They love to, you know, they, they have so much of energy within them. Um, there could be somebody who goes to the gym, like I told you, body on point, sexy, passionate, fun-loving, energetic, arrogant, a bit cocky, possible. They have been taught a lesson. I don't know why I feel that they have been somebody who's very aloof. You know, I'm very standoffish, you know, I am better than this. There's this energy here. I'm better than everybody else, you know, I have more of this. They have been taught a lesson. I feel this. And they have lost money. I don't know who this is. I do not know. I want to know, spirit, what is this compass about? They've gone through some kind of an... I think it's a humbling experience. I don't know if it's something health-related because it's the card of taking a break. Something has 
changed in their life after either some kind of a sickness that they've had to go through? Because this is a card of taking a break. Well, this is a card of the universe forcing a time out on you, but it has taught them a lesson. It has changed their life. I don't know. If they have gone through a situation in their life where they were forced to be alone, Because that tower card here is also about being alone. And they have realized something. It has changed them. Maybe they, they, the whole, their way of thinking, their belief system has been changed. An overhauling of that. But it has been a forced time out. You know, the universe has engaged with them and stopped something in their life by force. By force. And they have been forced to take a break from something. And the universe has said, time out. Till you heal. Till you understand what you're doing, which is wrong. And this, this warrior, when he gets up, he's going to take that sword. And that's the ace of swords, clarity. Now, I want to know what this clover is about. What did I just tell you about the ace of swords? Look. This person is getting some kind of a, their shasara is going to be lit AF and they are going to understand everything. Their fault, the other person's fault, the people's fault, or everything. They're going to understand and they're going to take a leap of faith because this, this card of the clover is a small window for them to jump through. And, you know, their crown is coming back. I also wonder if somebody had mental issues here because with that card of taking a break, you know, it's all air energy. It's all in the mind. I wonder if somebody had mental issues here of depression of something that forced them to take a break. And the universe put them on this, I'm telling you. And they're going to be able to break free from these mental issues. And there's just some luck on their side, extreme luck. You know, and for me, the Ace of Swords is also clarity. Intelligence. Maybe they are going to find a very intelligent way to create their own lucky break. I'm sensing this. Now, what is this fish about spirit? It's Venus and Taurus in this deck. Remember the second house, marriage. This is my card of marriage. Four of wands. You have four of wands and four of swords, okay? Four of swords energy is not that, you know, upbeat because it's about taking a break or a forced break. This, on the other hand, is happy events in a home. This is somebody who either is in a happy situation or was, or they're going towards proposing to somebody. Look or read about the angel number 44 if you want to. This is about money. It's about the second house. Okay? Fish is about money. But this Neptune energy, which I also think is the Pisces energy because of the fish, it's going to be a sudden shift, a sudden change because the fish has just changed directions, just like that compass. And I think there's a lot of confusion here. This could also be a hidden relationship. Somebody is going towards someone, okay, with this intention of offering marriage and security. And there's going to be a shift in, I think the universe has forced them, has forced them to take a break. And in that time, they have evolved. They have ascended. I want to take one more card on this person or this situation. This person wants to come towards you with this energy of growth and collaboration. They want to collaborate with you. I think there is money involved here. And again, I'm going back to that first message that I got where they prom they are telling you that they need to get some money. They're waiting for a payout and then they're going to come towards you and they want to grow and collaborate with you. But there are three people here. I want you to be clear with them and make sure that they have no more extra people. Okay. Just make sure for me, make that sure before you accept whatever offer they have. They are coming with an offer. I'm telling you. They are. Now, take some cards, okay? From my Mystic Red Rose Oracle deck. So what this deck wants to tell you. Comment below, let me know what you're going through. I want to hear from you. Okay, I have your three cards. The runner. Look, 
when this energy comes out, it pisses me off. This is somebody who's very arrogant. You have a lot of fire in this reading, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, they love to be chased or it gives them some kind of a high, you know, that there are so many people in my inbox. There are four people messaging me. They want to see me. Let them run. And look, Scorpio, your energy is about obsession. Don't obsess over people like this and you can't do anything about it. It's one of your lower vibrations. Your higher vibration is being able to remodel yourself time and time again from, you know, disintegrating. And you're so passionate. You love with a vengeance. But that vengeance in you leads to an obsession sometimes. Release it. Release this person. When they start running, let them run. So it's about a fear of intimacy. And, and you are the eighth house, Scorpio. Are you scared to open up sexually to somebody? I'm just putting this out there. Now, this person is trying to, you know, be that runner where they keep you chasing. And it, it really turns them on. Some kind of a sick individual. Let them run. You run the other way as fast as you can. Ship, I love this. Breaking free, cutting loose. This is very Saturnian. It's cutting cords, literally. Look at this cord. Something has kept you stuck. And you know, they've been giving you the runaround. And they know that you're obsessed with them. Heh. Don't give them that satisfaction. Don't be one of their options who messages them. And they go and brag about it to their friends. Move on. Move on. And the ship energy in, in the Lenormand is Sagittarius energy. We're dealing with foreign people, foreign countries, people who are at a distance from you. Move on. Let them go. Let them go. You move on. You ascend, yeah, Scorpio. You know what's waiting for you? Paradise, my friends. Paradise. Happiness and joy. Honeymoon phase. Enjoying each other's company. I'm talking to your future self here. What awaits you? Paradise. And if you go back to the first message, where, second message or third, I don't know, we're sending you the Zodiac sign and the temptation card came of somebody taking a bite of that apple, just like in the Garden of Eden. You're going towards that paradise. That's exactly what it is. Somebody's tempting you with something. I think they're tempting you with the understanding of if you hold on, there's a huge payout coming for me and we'll share it. You just take note of this energy and I don't know if they're being truthful about it. So I want you to make sure that there is really nobody else in the picture yet. Okay, now I'm going to end your reading by taking some angel answer cards. Angel oracle cards. I beg your pardon. Let's see what the universe wants to deliver to you before I say bye. So don't worry, copy this play out. It's two or three weeks. Okay. Then the energy shifts and I'll be there to take you through it. Ready? Don't forget to check out all the other readings on my channel, especially the Capricorn ones you can check. You can check the Sagittarius one, okay? Capricorn, you can check Sag and the Taurus ones. Chakra healing. This is Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and get your chakras open by using sacred geometry. That's what he rules, shapes. So if you keep seeing repeating numbers or repeating, you know, I'm not saying you're going to keep seeing squares and shapes, but if you keep seeing repeating numbers, you are being communicated by Archangel Metatron. That's what he's about. And the number 44 has shown up here. Go read about that angel number. Perhaps there's an answer there for you. And Archangel Metatron with this beautiful color wants to communicate with you via your crown, via your ajna and give you some information. And you know, Ace of Swords is here. Clarity. You have the Ace of Cups here as well and the Ace of Pentacles. This is awesome. Now, gifts from God. How beautiful is this? Gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon. It's like the ace of cups that he holds in his hand. And you are about cups. You are about water. You are about feelings. Also intense ones. You know, and when I think of cups and I think of water energy, which is your energy, Scorpio, I think of tears as well. We angels bring you gifts from your 
creator, whoever you believe in, God source creator, open your arms to receive. You're going to get something. And I think it's a brand new love with all this red and this purple. It's going to be an intelligent love. Somebody who adores you. There is heart energy here. There is emotions here. There is love here. And you know, this is a gift from the gods. I believe this is divinely ordained like that lover's energy. Somebody is going to make a head over heart decision. It's time. And they're coming towards you in a very intelligent way. They've made up their mind. And they're coming with this cup. And this is blessed by the gods. It's a gift. And this relationship which is coming towards you is a gift. Rel My goodness. Relationship harmony. Okay. The... Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone, my goodness, involved in this situation. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. You see this yellow here? This is the, your solar plexus. Something which has, you know, your self-worth, something which makes your heart swell up with pride, and it's the sun energy. It's your Manipura. It's the fifth house. It's about flirtation, love, romance, or about a child. If some of you have had any conflicts at home about children, I don't know why I feel it's about a child's health. Yeah, Scorpio, do not worry. Harmony is going to be restored in that relationship. And if it is in relationship to a situation which involves children, and there's been a lot of fighting and arguments, the five of wands has shown up. The fifth house is about children. It's about love. It's about romance, flirtation. Harmony is going to be restored in your home, especially if it's got something to do with children or with a lot of people being involved in arguments or fights. Do not worry. Archangel Raguel is here, opening up and softening the hearts of all the parties concerned. I think that I'm talking to somebody who's got a lot of people in their business. And this is in the home. I know this. Do not worry. Peace. And harmony is going to be restored. And do not worry about the health of a child. The sun energy is about health and well-being. And I want to put this out to you as well. So, my darling Scorpios, listen to this reading again. I have amplified all the positive cards and set affirmations for you to just receive them. All you have to do is to be open to believe and you shall receive. I have your confirmations, your validations and your answered prayers. So don't forget to check out all the other readings on my channel. I will talk to you soon. From my Anahata to your Anahata, I love you. Namaste Scorpio. Bye.